Hello everyone, Rafael Barbosa here, or Coringa, and in this video I'll talk about the Rotor Outlet and how we can use and how we can implement in our project. Then uh, let's start, for example, here we have three modules, right? We have the register, we have the logging, and we have the start module. Let's understand first the register and the logging. Inside the logging page, we have this push name it that send us to the register page, right? This is normal and we know about this. But now let's understand about the router outlet. Let's see here, for example, now we ha we are inside the start module, right? When I click in the, at the button enter, we go to the start configuration. So we are inside. Let's understand first the routing inside the router outlet. For, for example, how we can see here, we have the normal, the child, and this is the, the first, the initial. We are calling the start page inside the initial, right? And inside this child, child route, we have another two modules and one more page. So let's understand first at the start page. When we go to the start page, we call the router outlet. And when we go using the bottom navigator, navigator bar, we are calling, for example, at this case, we are calling the start configuration. In the second, start profile, right? And the third, start users. So, for example, how it works? It's normal, it's like the, uh, the routing, the normal routing, but in this case, we are using. Uh, the bottom navigator bar, right? And the rotor outlet. But what the, what the rotor outlet do for us? For example, when we need to go uh, using uh, only this this way, we, we need to go from another module and go back from the different module. For example, now let's understand it. Let's go to the start module. And here we have the two modules, right? Let's see here. And when I call the profile, I am initializing the profile module, right? And when I go to the users, the profile module are disposed and the users modules are initialized. And how you can see here, we have another page, right? For example, I can call the page and my users module was disposed. This is a good way when we need to deal with a bottom navigator bar, right? And it's easy to implement. It's easy. And we can call some modules here. We can have sub modules inside this. For example, we can create another, uh, another like sub module. We can create sub modules here and here without any problem. And this is the rotor outlet. It's a very interesting function in modular because how we can see here, we can deal uh, easy way to call modules and change mod between modules uh, using only the bottom navigator bar. And this is th thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed, subscribe at the channel.